Well, as we saw earlier, the Coastal Carolina team winning the College World Series this afternoon in dramatic fashion. And we saw the third highest attendance in CWS history this year. It's also going down in the books as a pretty good one for area businesses. Our Brandon Scott reports from TD Ameritrade Park. All of these players and fans broke a monumental College World Series record as part of the longest series in series history. Two GAs, please. Right. No other College World Series has been played this late in the season, going the full 17 possible games. That means the most diehard fans have been in Omaha for nearly two weeks, spending money on everything from tickets and merchandise to lodging and food. The longer it is, the more people that stay, the more money we make. Larissa Ramos manages Blatt Beer and Table right across the street from TD Ameritrade Park. With thousands of baseball fans coming inside to cool off and fill up, Ramos predicts the past two weeks will account for her restaurant's biggest sales period of the year. Monetarily speaking, it's very great for the restaurant, very great for this area of town. We've been going to Chick-fil-A every day, sitting in the same booth, eating the same thing. Got to do it for the team, so. <laughs> You're ready for a home-cooked meal. Yes, definitely. Jane Parrott has been in town for the entire series, watching her son, who plays for Coastal Carolina. Like the rest of these fans, she's had a great time at the tournament, but... I'm ready to go home. <laughs> most of these players and fans should be waking up in their own beds tomorrow morning, with many of them planning to get on a plane and head home tonight. Reporting at TD Ameritrade Park with producer Roger Hamer, I'm Brandon Scott, WWT 16.